Today, I got four great side hustles that are so good, you might wanna just quit your job. So you're gonna wanna hear this stuff. I got four that anybody could do with little or no money at all, and I'm gonna break it down for you. Maybe you're tired of that nine to five dragging you down, or you're just trying to avoid or ditch the nine to five, or maybe you're just frustrated and bored with it, and you're ready to quit your job and replace it with a life of excitement and profit instead of a paycheck selling your time. Because as you know, if you watch my channel, if you're selling your time, it's the lowest level of leverage in your life. It may feel safe, but anybody could lose their job. Side hustles, if you do them right, nobody can really fire you. You're your own boss. I'm serious, guys. These are four side hustles that can change your life and make $30,000 just like that. And Best yet, most of them only take a few clicks, which is what we're all about today. We've even got AI as of right now, agents that are literally talking with each other. So very shortly, within months, we'll have robots that are actually talking to each other. All this stuff is happening. It's gonna make life so super easy. My name's Andrew Cartwright. I'm here to help you make money, leverage it, and invest it. I can relate to where you are because I've been there. I don't care where you are in the spectrum because I've been homeless and broke all the way to multi DACA millionaire and finally locked in that success, started 32 companies, founded them in 17 completely different industries, bought 17 companies, I'm buying 99 more right now with you and I've exited five times. So if you have good credit, I'm interested in working with you like 680 credit score and you know how to run a business, we have got to talk. I got a link in the description for Epic 99. We're looking for people to fund businesses for you and buy baby boomer businesses where you own 81%, we own 19%. The Dragons and Angels Fund, it's an equity group that I have that we're basically buying businesses. Also, don't forget to grab that free stock in the description with Moomoo and Weeble. It's absolutely free. Open it up and you get stocks. It's like, that's the first side hustle to do, but it's not one of the four. It's just grab some free money, stocks. You can sell them and turn them into money. So let's start off with the smallest. Have you ever been told you always have a lot to say? I've been told that a couple of times. Well, then this is the first place and the perfect place for you because it simply only requires your opinion. And go ahead and stop and resonate because it only requires your opinion. So go ahead and stop by resident.io and make some money by simply giving your opinion. That's it, I'm serious. Respondent.io is a focus group platform. They wanna know your opinion about what you think about something. If you like to think like I do, that's a great connection and you can participate in the market research that they're doing, including focus groups, online surveys, and product testing because they wanna know what you think. How else are they gonna to sell to us unless they figure out what we want? All you need to do is sign up to be a participant with the website and you'll receive notification about any available studies in your area, not to mention that you don't have to put on an outfit or dress up or do an interview. It's simple, fill out a couple of steps. Some of these surveys will literally only take you two to three minutes of your time. You can do it when you're like using the restroom, you know what I'm saying? And then you could do them as much as a couple hours if you want. You can earn anywhere between $5 to $250 straight to your PayPal account per survey. 250 bucks per survey, you do four of those, that's a thousand a day. That's some quick, easy cash without getting dressed up, without traveling in your car, without doing anything. Okay, let's play a quick little game. What I want you to do is pull up Google Map and then search up a type of business you could do, like a coffee shop, auto shop, plumbing, anything. It doesn't matter, you get the picture. Search up the businesses. It doesn't even have to be in your area and you can just scroll down and look at them. This is where it comes in. Write these businesses down. What you've got it and want to do is give any of those businesses without a website a call because guess what? Explain to them that you noticed, unlike many of their competitors, they don't have a website and offer them your service to create one. Remember, in the world, it's sellers who get rich, not buyers. So you wanna find buyers that will actually buy your services. And it's simple and easy to do. Go over all the benefits of having a website for their business, which should be obvious. Online traffic, reaching a wider audience and staying competitive in the digital age. Many of them are old baby boomers that just never caught on and 
You don't want to let them go out of business, not to mention, you might want to ask if their business is for sale because we might want to buy that in Epic 99. Now, most businesses don't already have websites. They probably are going to hesitate at the chance, so make it really easy for them. But as long as you convince them of the money that they make on an online presence, you should be able to quickly close some kind of a deal. And don't worry, you don't have to do a lot of code learning. In fact, nowadays with AI, there's not much code to do at all. You just it's such a much easier solution. You can go right over to a builder like Wix and use these easy templates and drop and click websites and create tools. There's AI websites that you can do, even ones that you can do in Canva to pop up a website, flash a logo on it and a template and then add photos and pictures for your service. The other thing you can do if you don't even wanna do any of the technical stuff is go over to Fiverr and figure out what they're charging. A lot of times it's 50 or $100 and just add a hundred or $200 for your time basically doing it. You can do all this in a couple of hours really quickly, even using that Fiverr lender person and charge 300 to $1,000 per website. I'd recommend investing in creating a couple of demo websites at first because I can't tell you how many times people People have called me about doing a website and they don't even have one to show me. So mock one up, make your own personal website, maybe even make your business website a website building site and you'll be in the technological age, which is where we are right now. Not everyone will say yes, but some will. And thanks to the internet being worldwide, you can call pretty much anybody. Sometimes you can make it so irresistible that you can say, look, if you pay me $30 a month for the next year, because they want their website up for 300 bucks, you just have to wait to get it over a year, but you can set it up on PayPal and auto payments. And you, you can reach out to these businesses all over the world, creating long-term opportunities and that monthly payment is so much better too because the low entry they could be ten dollars they could be paying forever as long as they have a website up you guys know how much i love ai right because i talk about it by now you should really know that the next step it couldn't be easier because you're using chat gpt it does all the work for you and ai and it's the way the future is going so you want to plug in as quick as possible while ai might still be struggling to make a full comprehensive 300 page novel give it just a little bit of time and it'll be doing that do not not keep up with what's happening on chat gpt those agents now that i talked about just as a few days ago, they're talking to each other. And that's pretty impressive. Full on debates with ChatGPT. Like I said, every time you look at AI, it's at its worst stage. It's only gonna get better. But for today, AI is still excellent at creating short stories and even doing poetry. Soon, we'll have full comprehensive videos that you can do. Back in September, one of the last years this author named simon ritchie released a best-selling poetry book titled i am code yep which even pulled interesting celebrities like jj abrams into the mix the book was filled with poetry completely created by guess what ai and its opinion on humanity and its prediction on the future if you haven't read it it's pretty cool now what does this mean to you? Seasons shift, so do hearts. Summer glows dim, love departs. Autumn leaves in world of grief. Mark the time, but bring no relief. In every season's change I see, for what's lost never blooms again. That's right. There is a complete original poem that was created in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And not that I'm good at reading poetry. Sorry to put you through that. Now, believe it or not, I'm not the biggest poet out there. Yeah, but I think this sounds pretty good for how long it took me to do it. Seconds. All I asked ChatGPT to do was to create a poem out of seasons, change being the metaphor for losing a loved one. And when it came out longer than I liked, I just asked it to make it a little bit shorter and voila, a nice little compressed, depressing poem. The average poem book contains about 25 to 50 poems on average. So you can do this 25 to 50 times and you've got a book. Spend a, a couple of hours cranking out poems out there in different prompts and you yourself could have a nice collection, enough to fill a book even and even publish it. The next part is optional, though it could help your book stand out. Make poem books like an, an actual place art next to the actual poem. Again, using ChatGPT to make the sketch, the art piece. Pretty soon, this will be cranked out all over the place. But right now, you guys will be the only ones doing it. Slap it next to the poem, this picture, 
and it's a nice presentation. Put all the poems together in a nice formatted book, head over to Amazon, and you can self-publish that on Amazon KDP. And don't worry, it won't cost you a dime to upload it. That's right, it's completely free. And then when people buy a digital copy, you get paid. And with it being digital, you can sell an unlimited copies all over the world with, that, with unlimited earning potential. The average poem book on Amazon right now sells for about five to $15. The average sell price of the two self-published books is between 250 to 300. So keeping Amazon pretty high royalties in mind, you're gonna make an average of $600 to $1,000 per book. There's no limit to how many books you can put out. Now, that may seem like a little much, but that's one book you made in just a couple of hours. And I gotta tell you, having published my own book, spent years, five years on the editing part and 20 years of research doing that in just a few minutes is amazing. So do 10 or 15 or 20, maybe even a span over a week. This could be passive income of $20,000 a month in your wallet and it's passive on Amazon. This one is pretty inspiring and by my video the last week talking about the side hustles and the exclusivity involved in AI. So if you have one in particular that intrigues you, I could recommend checking out a video on it. I'll drop a link in the description and you guys can check it out. Okay, we've spent with one that's been around for a few years now and that is drop shipping. It's got some people, it's a bad name, but if you do it legit, it's not a bad deal. Now that those who know what dropshipping is, you've probably been told that it's a scam or it isn't worth investing in. But the truth is, people have been saying that since dropshipping has been invented, and just like before, people are still finding success. Think about it. All these cheap phone cases find their ways onto Amazon and to Spotify, eBay, all kinds of places. It's just the modern way to sell. I'd almost think that the fact that they call it drop shipping has hurt it, not helped it. But people that get over that, they make a lot of money. Now for those who have never heard of drop shipping, it's like having a virtual store on Amazon, on eBay, or on Shopify. But instead of stocking inventory yourself and spending thousands of dollars to be able to house it, you partner with the supplier who handles all the shipping directly to the customer and you sell the product just enough to earn a profit, but not too much to, so that you can still stay competitive. And when someone makes a purchase, the supplier gets a cut and keeps the rest to get started and processes with it super easy. You can use apps like AliExpress to be able to get the absolute cheapest supplier, but the convenience sake to make this one easy and an easy gig, you can use an app called Zendrop, which allows you to easily link products from Zendrop to an actual Spotify store. The best part is you can customize many of these products to match a comprehensive brand to sell it to a store, giving you the image of a big company. When someone places an order on your Shopify store, Zendesk will immediately fulfill the order and ship it out the product to the customer. And with many US-based warehouses, the customer should receive the product in just a few days, if not overnight. Make sure that your Shopify store looks clean though. Take some time and create an official looking store with a nice, unique brand. If you're not artistic, maybe go to your friend ChatGPT and design a logo, maybe a design that you can feel good about. Now, the biggest challenge with drop shipping will be finding the right product. This part will be tailored and a little bit tough to do. Not every product you sell will be a moneymaker. The reason people say drop shipping doesn't work is because they don't try the right products or try enough of them to be able to get to a profitable one. Now, don't go in blind. Take a look at the actual trends that are happening. Check out trends and trending products by utilizing products research tools like Google Trends, Amazon Best Sellers, and eBay Trends. Identify particular products that are trending right now, and those items are the ones to jump on. Look for the product with a consistent demand and steady sales that grow over time that actually have margin. Test as many products as you want, and the more you do, the better your chances of success. Once you've chosen your product and you're gonna wanna pay for the ad, you'll get your product out to more people using advertising. You can literally just Google where to advertise Advertise Shopify products and TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat should all pop up with links on how to start advertising on those products. Now, ads cost 
are usually pretty low. TikTok is an example, only costs like 50 cents every thousand views. And the average success story for drop shipping ranges between 700 to 2000 a month. But some, even today, will find success leading upward of 10 to 20,000 a month. Even one, low in for many of these are enough to cover the rent. And uh, that's pretty cool, right? Running a business online that you can't get fired from. And to scale up your earnings even more, you can use the app called Codisto, which is where you can import your Shopify store list and list them on Amazon in just a few clicks. Now this method will cost about $40 a month, but saves you so much time that Amazon literally is a great place to sell online and takes up 37% of the American commerce right now, literally almost half. So it's probably a pretty good investment. Remember guys, don't just stick to one of these side hustles since they all take a little bit of time but can easily make you money over time. And who knows, with a little time and a little luck, you could pull in money to actually quit your job in just a couple of weeks or even a couple of months with just four side hustles. I hope you found this valuable. My name's Andrew Cartwright, love you. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't worry guys, I have more coming on the way that we're gonna be breaking down and also helping you be able to buy companies. Take care, love you.